Welcome to Home Chemistry Wax Video Number 2, and welcome back to Chemist Corner. In my first Home Chemistry video, I showed you how a flame will follow gaseous wax back to the candle and relight it. How could I improve on that? Simple. Light two candles at the same time. Thanks for that idea, Jess. But after 16 failed attempts, 16, this was the best I could do. Not every experiment is a great winner. So instead of working with gaseous wax, I decided to work with liquid wax. I melted the orange candle and poured it into some cold water. And simply watch it freeze. Guaranteed to work 100% of the time. And with some very interesting results. Of course, wax is much less dense than water and floats. It is a non-polar hydrocarbon, so it doesn't want to mix with water at all. Now, if orange is good, Red must be much better, right? So I melted a red candle. Here is some very clear evidence that not all candles are created equally. Notice a very different result from the liquid pour. Once again, the wax floats, does not mix with water, and freezes rapidly. Note the different textures that form this time. Well, if orange was good and red was better, what would be better than that? Do both at the same time. I have wax, I have water, let's find out. When I poured them both together, the results can best be described as abstract art. Each trial gave a completely different and unique result. My next surprise came during cleanup. Playing with melted wax in the kitchen does require some cleanup. Of course, the wax that floated was flat on top, but after I poured off the water and turned over the solid wax, this is what remained. Fascinating textures. Perhaps even alien landscapes. Nooks and crannies tortured shapes, modern art, the result of simply adding liquid wax to cold water, modern art, wax sculptures. Even when the wax was spilled, and it did, the spilled wax took on an artistic, modern art feel to it. Just water and wax refusing to mix. If you enjoyed my Chemistry from Home wax series, hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and come back and see more videos from Chemist's Corner Kitchen.